first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this video that is on the topic geometry we are going to learn a geometry category that is a triangle right so john when you take a geometry on quantitative aptitude we have many categories right so a triangle a circle we have lots and lots of categories on this geometry session but if you are preparing for a competitive exams like railway or ssc or a college placement so you can able to see mainly two topics one is a triangle and another is a circle so just give more and more importance in the geometry session that is based on triangle and based on a circle so now in this video we were, we are going to learn all the important properties for a triangle right so just just keep one important thing you need to remember it when you take cbsc uh, max book of 9th standard or a 10th standard so there are more number of properties right and those properties are not required for a competitive exam all the properties of a triangle is not needed because here in the competitive exam we are not going to prove any property we are just we to solve a question and we need to find the answer so based upon that four to five properties are there in a triangle which are more important for the competitive exams so learn what is required for the competitive exam so keep on solving just solve many number of question on that level property so surely you can able to solve a question that is based on a geometry right so friends if you have time after watching this video don't forget to watch the two video what i have already posted on my channel so triangle 1 video and triangle 2 so triangle 1 uh, video lesson number 1 where i have explained what all the different types of triangles are there scalene triangle isosceles triangle equilateral triangle if you know all those stuff then you can start watching the next next lesson but if you don't know the basics of types of triangle so kindly go to the first lesson and watch it if if you want you can watch the second lesson also right but here in this video i will be explaining you how the triangle is and how the triangle looks like and everyone knows it and what are all the different category of question they can ask from the geometry that is based on a triangle and what are all the important properties are there so because you don't want to learn 20 30 properties in a triangle just learn five important property and then one important note that i will be teaching all those stuff here so first let me take a triangle right everyone knows how the triangle looks like right and if it is a triangle it should have three vertices right so this point is called as a vertices or a vertex and this is called as a side right so a triangle has a three side and a three sides and three vertex some some books they will say it's a vertex or vertices both are same right so now getting into the point there are two main category of question you can see in your exam one is a question that is based on a finding an angle of a triangle either by giving these two angle our target is to find this angle one sort of question or we need to find the exterior angle so whenever we find outside of a triangle angle which is called as an exterior angle so these are called as an interior angle interior angle exterior angle or giving one side value we need to find what is the other side of a triangle value so these kind of questions you can able to see the first model category right and the second model category is like median so median concept right so median is one of the concept in the topic triangle for example if i draw a line from one vertices connecting the opposite side of a triangle right so this will be the one vertices of a triangle right from this point connecting to the opposite side of a triangle which is called as a median so if you draw a median it cuts a triangle into two equal half just see when i draw a median here it cuts a triangle into two half which is equal half Right? So, if it is a triangle, we have three medians. So, from this angle also, from this vertices also, we can draw another median. And similarly, from this vertices, we can draw another median. So, totally, if it is a triangle, we can draw three median. And this point is called as a centroid, right? a center point, or else called as a centroid. Right? So, you have to remember one thing. If it is a triangle, we have three vertices or vertex, and we have three sides, and then one median, sorry one centroid and a three median so median will always divide the triangle into two equal half right 
so questions they can ask from a median or else question they can ask to find an angle or something like this right angle or side of a triangle so those cases you can see one model question and this will be the second model question which is based on a median right so other than this we will not find any question that is based on a triangle on geometry so now in this video what i'm going to do is i will be like teaching you all the important properties right so four or five properties are there i will teach you all the five properties and then after teaching the properties i will in the next lesson i will be solving a questions that is based on a triangle geometry right so now let me move on to all the properties of a triangle so now here is the first property of a triangle so the first major property of a triangle is sum of three angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree right so we know that if it is a triangle we have three vertices point and each vertices point we have some angles so when you add three angles so this angle and this angle and this angle so if we add three angles of a triangle it should always be equal to 180 degree only then we should say this as a triangle right so friends understood or not whatever the triangle be the triangle can be an equilateral triangle or an isosceles triangle or whatever the triangle be but always remember that if it is a triangle if we add all the three angles of a triangle right so first angle second angle and third angle so the resultant should be equals to 180 degree and the triangle can also be in any form right this is also called as a triangle right so if we take this as a triangle then we have to add these three angles and we have to check whether it forms a triangle or not so when we add all the three angles it should be equals to 180 degree so the question even in case in the exams if they want to ask you very easy level question then they can give you this angle and this angle and what we need to find the third angle so in case if the question is like this then what we need to do is we have to add the two angles what they have given in a question subtract with 180 degree so resultant will be the third angle so friends understood or not so this is one of the major property and important property of a triangle so sum of three angles of a triangle which should be equal to 180 degree so second property right so second property i have taken two example question so the first example is they have given us sides so sides 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm and the second question 5 cm, 8 cm and 15 cm so now we have to check whether the first question we can by using the sides of 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm can we form a triangle right so how to check whether by using the sides can we draw a triangle perfectly or not so the second property is when we add any two sides of a triangle so friends just listen here any two sides of a triangle sum of any two sides of a triangle should be greater than the third side for example let's let's take the first example question so we can draw a triangle based upon the given value so one is five centimeter and the second is six centimeter and the third side is seven centimeter i'm just drawing randomly here and i'm just going to check whether this side's value by using three sides value can we form a triangle or not so just see here add any two side seven plus five when we add seven plus five resultant will be 12 so 12 which is greater than the third side yes or no right sum of two sides any two sides of a triangle that should be greater than the third side so similarly if i add 6 and 5 so when we add 6 and 5 11 centimeter which is greater than the third side so when we add 7 and 6 13 13 is greater than 55 centimeter so friends understood or not if i add any two sides of a triangle resultant should be greater than the third side so we can say that the first sides value what they have given in the question by using the value we can form a triangle so let's take the second example question so second example question is 5 centimeter right so 8 centimeter and 15 centimeter so now let's check whether we can by using the given sides whether we can form a triangle or not so what is the property we have to add any two sides of a triangle and that value should be greater than the third side so now when we add 5 and 15 so 5 and 15 is what 20 <coughs> so 20 is greater than 8 centimeter yes it is greater than so we can say that it satisfies one point second point 
15 plus 8. So 15 plus 8 is 23. So 23 is greater than 5 centimeter. Yes, it's correct. When we add these two points, 8 and 5, 8 and 5 is how much? Total 13 centimeter. 13 centimeter is not greater than the third side. Why? Because the third side is 15 centimeter. When we add the two sides, 8 centimeter and 5 centimeter, we got 13 centimeter. So 13 centimeter is less than 15 centimeter. So we can say that the sides what they have given here when we draw a diagram perfectly it does not forms a triangle so we can say that the second question side value by using the side value we can't able to form a triangle so friends understood or not so always remember that it's a second property when we add any two sides of a triangle it should always be greater than the third side so here all the three satisfy so we are saying that the sides what they have given we can form a triangle but when we take this question second question where two satisfies but the third it does not satisfy so we can even if one does not satisfy definitely it does not forms a triangle right so now the second property what we learned here is i can say you again the second property is when we add any two sides of a triangle triangle has only three sides when we add any two sides of a triangle that value should be greater than the remaining side or else an opposite side Right, right? so which will be the property number two so getting into the third property right so third property you can see here they have given a triangle and we know the triangle we we have three angles but here they have given an exterior angle right so outside angle is called as an exterior angle so exterior angle what they have given is 120 degree right so just listen the property three so property three is exterior angle so this angle exterior angle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles right so this ex exterior angle is equals to sum of two opposite so when we take this exterior angle the opposite to this exterior angle will be these two interior angles right so when we add this angle and this angle which should be equal to the exterior angle so friends understood or not if we add these two angle value that should be equal to 120 degree so that's the thing what they are saying in the property three is exterior angle is equals to sum of opposite interior angles so exterior angle for a triangle you can draw in three different way one just see when we take this as a triangle and this can be one exterior angle yes or no this can be one exterior angle or else this can be one exterior angle or else this can be one exterior so there are many different ways you can draw an exterior angle for a triangle but remember one thing if we take this an ex exterior angle for example let's take 130 degree they have given an exterior angle right? so this angle should be equals to two opposite interior angles sum of two opposite interior angles so when we add this angle and this angle it should be equal to 130 degree that, that's the property 3 says right so exterior angle is equals to sum of two interior angle which should be opposite interior angles right you should not add the adjacent interior angle you should add the opposite interior angles so this is called as property 3 so here is the last property fourth property that we are going to learn in this video right so most important property to many uh, medium level questions you can able to only based upon this property we can able to solve the question so just see here we have three sides one side is 29 centimeter sides value three sides value is directly given here so 29 centimeter 21 centimeter and 18 centimeter right so just listen carefully the larger side right the longest side or a larger side you can see 29 centimeter is the largest side and the next largest is 21 centimeter and the smallest side is 18 centimeter so here the property 4 is the larger side this larger side opposite angle so when you take b and c which is 29 centimeter larger side and this for this side the opposite angle will be a so this angle will be greater than always so friends understood or not right so if we have three angles we know that there will be three angles in a triangle in case in this question if they are asking like which angle is greater and which angle is smaller so we should say that the larger side opposite angle this will be the larger side so the larger side opposite angle 
will always be greater in a triangle right so the next larger side will be 21 centimeter for this 21 centimeter opposite angle will be b so b will be next greater than and the last smaller side is 18 centimeter so this side opposite will be c that will be last greater than or the smallest angle out of three so friends understood or not right so this is most important and many medium level question only based upon this we can able to solve the question so remember this property fourth property is more important and many students would have already learned all the three first three properties but the fourth property many students have not found it so uh, they won't learn this fourth property because they didn't see you, you, won't, you won't see that much of question that is based on a fourth property but fourth property plays a major role on solving the medium level questions right so the opposite measure of the largest side and the angle should always be greater than the other two sides that is other two angles right so friends so finally in this video it's a small video just we have learned uh, the four important property and the fifth property which is based on a concurrent property i will teach you while solving a question i don't want to confuse here better while learning and while solving a questions we can learn that property right so here in this video i have, I have taught you four important properties and based upon that next next video we will be solving a question that is based on a triangle geometry right so when you have time don't forget to watch the two video what i mentioned initially so triangle two video which i have already posted on my channel so and don't forget to watch the remaining videos where we will be solving questions that is based on a triangle geometry right so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye